Welcome back to Google SketchUp for Architecture Students, brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. Now, I've added some more elements to the very basic model, um, completed it, but now what we want to do is just play around with some viewing options of the model. Now, primarily, one of the more useful tools with any 3D CAD package is to study the way that light and shade affect our building, so we can make some more informed design decisions. Now, we can display shadows in our SketchUp model simply by going to the View pull-down menu and selecting the Display Shadows option. And if we extend it out there, we can see that the sun is projecting from this side, projecting a shadow onto the ground here somewhere. Now, that's all and well, but how do we know whether this is accurate, where it is in the world, what time it is in the world. Now, there is a shadows um, menu item. If we go to window, the pull down shadows, and we can then open up the shadow setting. Now you'll see here that the time zone is different um, to where we are. In fact, I really have no clue where that is. But you can see here there's a series of sliders that as we move them back and forth, for the time of the day and the month of the year, we can dynamically interact with the shadows that our building will cast. Now, we can figure out where north is by simply going to toolbars, and there is a tool down here called Solar North, and we can display where the north point is. So in this instance, north is pointing directly up the page in that direction, so, we, the intention here is that the veranda would be facing north, so in fact, our building is facing the wrong way. Now, in the SketchUp Pro version, we can actually adjust the north point um, in the model itself, but with the free version, um, we're fixed with just identifying where it is. So, to remedy the orientation aspect, we're going to have to move the whole model. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just select pretty much everything. Get my rotate tool. I'll do it around the origin. Just select 180 degrees, enter, and then I'll move it approximately into position. I'll then deselect everything. Look how I'm going. Now, this still isn't right because Although my model is facing north, the sun's actually coming from the south, which indicates to me that we've got a geo location somewhere in the northern hemisphere. Now, the brilliant thing with the new version of SketchUp is that we can geolocate, geolocate the model through the use of Google Maps. So, to do that, if we go to the pull down menu window, we go to Model Info. Now the geolocation, this is different to the previous version of SketchUp for those familiar with that. Here we actually go through an interface um, that is like a Google map. So we're going to add a location. Now what it should pull up, in fact you can see here it's remembered where I looked at last time. So it's brought up a Google Maps and really what we can do is zoom in on the location where we want to place our building. Now I'm going to put my building somewhere in West End, in someone's backyard. Where's a likely candidate? Here's one up here. This block here, block 59, it looks empty. So I'm going to position myself, select a region. So I'm going to just ease that back a bit. So that's the region that I want to use going to grab that and then it's going to position my model with that grab underneath it. Now the brilliant thing is is that it's recognized where we are in the world quite accurately and so now when we start to scroll the shadow from sort of north to south the Sun we can see is actually coming from the north and projecting the shadows back. 
Now, we can, you can see here in that doing the grab, it's added in a couple of extra um, elements through here. Now, the other thing with Google Google Maps is that there's a lot of terrain information. Currently, if we look at this in a end elevation, we can see that the world is flat. Now what we can do, though, is turn on the terrain. So we can toggle the terrain on, and now what it's doing is that it's actually pulling up uh, the terrain um, coming straight out of uh, Google Maps. So if I look at it now straight on, we can see that the terrain is actually warped. Now we can adjust the height of our building so that it sits either in the terrain properly, if it's floating above, like that column is there, then what we can do is that we can just turn that terrain off, select everything, turn the terrain on, and then just move it down, maybe 300. And let's have a look. In fact, we're still not quite there select everything. Just going to pull it down. 400. Enter. So now all of our stumps are firmly bedded in the ground. Now the brilliant thing is is that the terrain now that we have distorts more accurately because we know that the projection on the ground, if it's sloping away, we'll get a longer shadow. If it's sloping up, we'll get a shorter shadow. So that's a brilliant way of contextualizing our project, getting quite accurate solar studies. And we can then choose specific times of the day and save images off and create ourselves a very simple but effective solar study.